Hey, a pleasant good day everyone. This is Sports Ryan News. I'm Joe Boric and this is going to be a quick video on the Adam Fox extension as the Rangers very smartly, sorry, might have to talk a little bit lesser here because uh, my throat's been messed up, but very smartly did re-sign Adam Fox. He is a guy that is going to be a pivotal part of the team going forward. After, as the great Larry Brooks of the New York Post says, um, been wanting to play, wanting to play for the, um, Rangers organization growing up, and he was able to obviously manifest that destiny, and now he's on the Rangers. He won the already Norris Trophy this early in his career, and he already is a absolute phenom on the ice on both ends. We talked about Morgan Riley's extension. I'll put that in a link at the end of this video if you want to check out that video on Riley yesterday. He's a great offensive 50-point level defenseman in 82 games but isn't as peachy keen, just has been improving little by little each season in the defense of them, but never has been known for his defense. Adam Fox is a absolute A-plus opponent on both sides. He could, in his best season, give you that 50-point-something season on offense when he really <clears throat> focuses on the offensive end and still focus. It's like he splits focus so well on the defensive end. He's one of those phenom-type players you just don't see that often, where even like somebody like PK, in his prime, he was good on both ends, but never just like the split focus guys. Like these are guys you just don't see often in the Adam Foxes of the world. You don't see a guy that can be that pivotal on offense and just that good of a shutdown guy on defense. The guys maybe early in their careers, you could say a little bit you compare to not the same skate size and body build size, but just maybe Dowdy because he was good on both ends, where guys like Seth Jones were never as good when you look at their numbers at the start of their career defensively as Adam Fox has come in and just lit the world on fire on that end as well. So to me, 9.5 is definitely a very fair price for Adam Fox. He's paid around the same as the Seth Jones of the world and the other defensemen I talked about on this channel. And he is one of the most worthy of getting that deal, even though it is the largest deal in NHL history coming out of an entry-level contract. He earned it. A guy that won the freaking Norris Trophy this early in his career already established himself this early in his career as one of the best defensemen in the game, whether it is moving the puck up the ice on the first outlet pass or being able to slap one on the net for a deflection or being able to get one on the net just for him to pot one himself. He's able to do it all, and whether it's stick checking on the back end, holding somebody up against the boards, um, being able to be good and aggressive on the forecheck, Adam Fox is good at that as well. This guy seems like he's one of those natural-born just leaders on the ice that is definitely going to now, as we see, sign the seven-year deal. <clears throat> it was also nice, as um, Larry Brooks said, that he committed to signing for seven years rather than five for the 9.5 cap hit, so it gives the um, Rangers more, obviously, leeway in not worrying about him until years down the line and now focusing on the other stuff they have to fill as one of the better teams to start this season already, as they obviously already have the net full. They're really building up that defense well, and their offense keeps getting better each year via young players performing and other guys Drury has brought in. So, obviously, you have the Kratzoff situation, but that's not here nor there. You're performing well, around that, and Adam Fox is a perfect component to keep in house. We talked about how with the Morgan Riley thing, it's the it's so great to keep the player, but also important to keep somebody like that as a person. Adam Fox grew up wanting to play for this Rangers team. He grew up basically living his dream destiny out right now, being on the Rangers and being one of the best focal point defensemen, whether it's offensively or defensively, one of the best guys to watch in the game at the defensive position. So he is already, it seems, personality was a natural born leader, and he's where he wants to be. So this is a very smart and wise move for the $9.5 million. This is going to help the Rangers, not just now, but for this entire seven years, because Adam Fox is still young. This isn't one of those contracts you go, oh, the first four to five are going to be good. The only way that's happening is, God forbid, uh, don't let it happen, <clears throat> is if injuries happen, which we've seen with other defensemen like the Eric Carlson's, even Drew Doughty's of the world, the P.K. Subban, where that starts to affect them over time. But 
if he's able to stay healthy, there is no doubt in my mind this guy's going to be one of the best defensemen of our generation with what we already saw from him, and potentially one of the best defensemen both ends. It's too early to say that now, but one of the best defensemen, maybe we'll be talking about this four years down the line, of all time, not just our generation, because it's been a while since we saw somebody that could split focus as well as Adam Fox. Even the P.K. Subans of the world and the Drew Doughty's of the world, he was very good at it, but like this guy's a shutdown defenseman on one end and has the potential to give you 50 or more points on the other end. I don't know if he'll ever consistently do the latter because he's just so good on both ends. Normally, you don't see those guys get to the 60-some point seasons all consistently because they have to split focus. But if there's anybody that can get to that 50, even 60-some point season as a defenseman, while splitting the focus, it's Adam Fox. Because he splits the focus like almost no other guy so well on playing great on defense and playing great on offense in the same game and held the same shift. And there's not many people that are so good at that and so in the zone as that that that's why it's very impressive for Adam Fox. He has the offensive skill of a Morgan Riley and the defensive skill of like a <clears throat> just one of the shutdown, like Ryan Pulitz, Adam Pellix of the world, just one of the sh- shutdown defensemen. He's like both of those guys put into one, or Vlasic in his prime, both of those guys put into one. The offensive dynamo of an Eric Carlson in his prime, he has the potential to do that and the ability to do that, plus the Vlasic just shut down. And... That's something that anybody is going to want on their team, and the Rangers have him. They have him for years now. Wouldn't be shocked if this guy continues to build his way up, and obviously they might not need him to be because they're captain, uh, to be the captain at a certain point, but I wouldn't be shocked just like Morgan Riley if things move in a different direction as time goes on over the course of that deal, if Adam Fox is eventually the captain because he wants to be there, he's a naturally born leader, and he's doing everything you want on and off the ice. Great job by the Rangers getting this done. They broke the record on an entry-level, expiring entry-level contract for a defenseman, but Adam Fox deserved it, getting the 9.5 per year for seven years. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. If you enjoy the content, subscribe up above or down below. Please stay safe out there and enjoy the great contract you got, Adam Fox, and also Rangers fans. Enjoy the productive season as well and hope you figure out the crash soft situation. Peace out.